What's up, everybody? I'm here at FlameCon with Mr. Dan Parent. I'm Pete and Bessie here for the Comics Pals. Dan, how is your con going so far? Uh, great. Great. Really, really wonderful crowd here. Cool. Cool. Again, a lot of commissions and stuff? Uh, yeah, a lot of commissions, a lot of signings, yeah. Great. Gra- glad to hear it. Um, so I want to ask you a couple questions about what is probably your best-known character, uh, Kevin from the Archie series. So um, obviously he was the first openly gay character in the Archie universe. So I just wanted to ask you, what was it like developing Kevin? Uh, it was actually really um, exciting because uh, Archie was sort of like, we had no ownership at Archie and we were trying to kind of, Archie had a reputation at the time of being sort of stuck back in the 50s and we really wanted to be part of the 21st century. So part of that was just introducing more um, diversity and um, where it comes to, as far as Kevin goes and other characters too, we were trying to introduce more um, different ethnicities, but also characters with, with different sexual orientation too so that that's where kevin came about and um yeah it was really it was really an exciting time actually i've been at archie for so long that i hadn't you know seen that happen so what was it like to get that call you know to know that you're going to get to develop this first gay character in the archie universe did you feel like any pressure in that were you like nervous about how fans would react to kevin i i wasn't nervous but i had to, i knew that we had to do it right and um and basically, I had I had kind of given the idea to them, so they were sort of like, just let me go with it. Um, but the main thing was that we do it, and that Kevin not um, the creation of Kevin not appear to be like a stunt, sure. because that has happened in comics before, where they announce a character is gay, or, or, or is, and in, it, you kind of don't see the character again. So the most important thing was to introduce Kevin and make sure that Kevin was going to be an ongoing character, and then we weren't going to just get a PR stunt out of it and then say goodbye to him. Um, so that actually takes me to my next question, which is, how does it feel seven years later to see Kevin as such a like integral part of the Archie universe? Like, well, that's great, and that, that's what the goal was, uh, because now Kevin is not seen as like a novelty character anymore. He's seen as you know just part of the gang, and that's and that was the initial uh, plan. So, were there any uh, real life people who influenced Kevin? Maybe someone you knew in real life or anything like that? You know, not really. Um, maybe bits and pieces, but really. Uh, in the creation of Kevin, it was sort of like I wanted to do sort of like a version of a character like Archie, but who was gay. Because Kevin is like kind of like the boy next door still, who just happens to be gay. And so, really, I kind of borrowed from Archie. So that was kind of your main influence for developing his personality? A, a little bit. Because I wanted him to be sort of like a, a, like a nice guy, g- boy next door, like Archie. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that, that that was kind of where the influence came from. Great. So um, now, how does it feel seeing a character that you created coming to like the you know coming to life as it were, I guess, uh, on Riverdale? Uh, that's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, it's um, weird. It's weird to see um, you know an actual breathing person uh, doing it, but it's it, that's exciting too. That's exciting too, and it's nice because uh, this year the character will be a full blown uh, regular on the show, so that'll be nice. Yeah, and I mean, I have to imagine that um, that that has maybe like renewed some interest in the character or that like br- brought new people to like get new eyes on it. Well, as far as Kevin goes and Archie in general, because a lot of people that watch the show um, have never heard of the Archie characters or they maybe they've heard of them, but not, don't know anything about them. So we're finding more people are going back and reading or looking up Archie comics just to compare it to Riverdale. Sure. sure. And I guess I'm sure that that has probably been uh, beneficial to have the new Riverdale series as well. And not just the Riverdale comics, but like the new Riverdale universe that was kind of established fairly recently. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much for your time, Dana. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like it, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel. Do you have anything you want to plug before we can go uh, where people can find you online or? Uh, DanParent.com. I'm on Facebook and um, check out uh, my new series, Die Kitty Die too. Awesome. All right, great. So go check that out. And then uh, again, if you want to connect with the Comics Pals, we're everywhere at the Comics Pals where your social media is sold. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time for more FlameCon coverage.